G'day everyone, Roy at Sunland Caravans and it really is a sunny day at Sunland. Bright and the sun's beaming down. Look, it's a particularly sunny day too, today for David and Catherine who are picking up their brand new Phoenix. Now, I'm gonna show you briefly some of the features that they've done on their caravan. So, the Phoenix comes with a number of things as standard. So some of these items are standard, some of the things have been changed. So standard is your camera, the DSC, the blackjack leg. You all know I love these blackjack legs. And I've mentioned previously, we're now doing a different connection on it. So you can disconnect the Anderson plug and use the power source to this for other devices. Just a nice little feature. They've put a double bicycle rack on the front and we can do different types of racks, dual, tribbles, we can put them on top of the tool, but we all sorts of things. They've gone for this particular layout. They've gone for the powder-coated, beautiful powder-coated large toolbox, again standard on the Phoenix. Electric awning, the yellow and white awning light, above what should be their barbecue slide area, had they chosen the barbecue in there, but tunnel boot as normal. They've got a table on the front here. Now, standard on the Phoenix is table, and you can have it at the front or the rear, or you can option to have a second table, have one at front and one at the rear. And all these are put within that rack to line, so we don't make a big feature about the fact that you've got them. They have gone for the motion detection lights up the top there. I've spoken about these doors before, but I particularly love the Aussie Traveller door. Now, it's a very simple separation. Pull the two there. It's got this really good security screen here. Then on the other side, it's got a really good midgy mesh. Now, any of you that have been out there and copped the midges getting through the screen door will appreciate just how good that is. It's got really good locks, and those locks, by the way, are adjustable. It's a very solid fitting door. Closes really nice and solidly. Again, metal clips, so you don't have those plastic clips breaking off. It's a good solid door, I, I really do like that door. So, moving around, airbags. So they've got the Cruise Master airbag suspension, uh, fully automatic, so they can put it on manual or automatic mode. Has got this connection, this connection comes with really long tubing, so you can inflate your tyres on your car or your caravan, or deflate using this here. And that's all topped away nicely inside that box. Entertainment on the outside is again inside a box, 240 volt, 12 volt connection for your TV bracket and your power and, uh, sorry, your sound, le left and right sound system, video and your coaxial cable. Outside speakers. Now they've got a uh, Selfie Go added to this. So this has got the boost, so it's got the big boost antenna on it. It's got a hot water service here, which is the Girard Instant Gas Hot Water Service, and a gas heater, all fitted in the rear here, plus gas point at the front and an additional gas point at the rear. Inside here, Instant Gas Hot Water has got the gas heater, your two pumps, uh, drinking water, general purpose, and your quick uh, water filter. That's a quick change, so it's very easy to swap, swap that one around. Pole carrier, aluminium of course. And that will take a substantial amount of weight on that, by the way. It's not, it's not a token gesture. They've added an additional spare bracket on the van for a, an additional spare for their car. And they've got the camera at the back. They've gone for the large power system, which includes two 225s, 450 watts, uh, amp hours of battery power and the 3000 watt inverter. They've got input from the car, from an Anderson connection, input from the solar. They've also got an input available for a, a, an additional outside blanket. Um, and they've also got uh, an output. So there's a 50 amp output if you want to run something directly off your battery. Now, I've mentioned this here before. All the information on that is all in here including what the switch is for, which switch what, which switch works, what electrical appliance to hold it. The whole wiring diagram is inside that lid. Moving down the caravan, toilet with a cassette, 
This has got the cover set, so it's got a cover available to go on top of the vent for the fridge. It is a compressor fridge on this one, by the way. Grey water tank, general purpose water, mains pressure water, um, and drinking water. They've got some nice blacked out mags on this. Looks rather cool, which as it turns out, Dave's got his car connected and he's got black wheels on the car. So that's a coincidence by the way, but um, nevertheless, a good one. He's actually all hooked up here. We've tried all the lights and checked all that stuff ready to go. So they're having a bit of a lunch break while we do this and then they're on their way. So let's go inside and have a quick look inside. So inside this caravan, and I have to say it does look good. Let's go inside and have a quick look to see. There are some changes that we've made, um, and they're ongoing, they're the changes that we've made over a period of time and that I haven't mentioned that I do want to cover on this one. So this is a full composite van, so it's fiberglass all the way through. Looks really good. They've gone for the shelves inside both rows. That is optional. You can have shelves or you can have hanging. Heater connection on this side of the bed. They've gone for Evo stone, so they've got the Evo stone countertops on the bedside tables as well as on the um, galley. Now, this is one of the changes that we've made. Now, all our vans come with these inner spring pillow top mattresses, which are rather gorgeous. But what I've done is I've changed underneath the bed now. So instead of this being a solid bulkhead all the way across, making two separate areas, I've turned it into more like one large area. The reason for that is we had people saying all the time there was nowhere for tables or chairs. And so this does make it easier for put tables and chairs and things like that under the bed. I think it's a bit of an improvement. And that's what we try and do. We try and improve all the time. So we've got two Sirocco fans in here, one each side. And if we haven't covered this previously on how to operate them, I will now. So your fans turned on and off from this little button on the side, it's a strip. And at the, above that is a timer where you can actually put it on to four different time settings. So that's your timer settings and that's your on off. You can move the fan around by undoing that, moving the fan and then locking into place. So undo it, move it to wherever you want it to be, lock it into place. You can also move the fan directional up and down like so. They're a great little fan. Not as good as a fantastic, but fantastic anyway. So we've now redone the controls down by the door. So all your light switches are here, your step, your awning, and in this case, it's got the motion detection lights on the outside. So those controls are all on this little panel. So this panel here has now changed a little bit. You still get these beautiful coat hooks, all done by one of the staff here that has designed and painted that. And I think they're rather beautiful, actually. John's done a fabulous job. As I mentioned, Evo Stone bench top. So in this is a 20 foot six Phoenix composite fan. So we get three large drawers here, slide out pantry. Now they've gone for Thetford triplex with oven. The triplex being two gas and one electric. So you can go two gas, one electric, or three gas. Unfortunately, at the moment we can't get the three gas. We only can get the two gas and one electric. So uh, I think they would have preferred the other, but this is what we're able to do. This has the grill inside the oven. Now what that does is, first off, the grill works a lot better when it's inside the oven there, but it also takes up a smaller area, thus giving them the ability to have a drawer underneath it, which Carolyn particularly liked. Soft closed drawers again, you hear that little click as it goes into place. Nice big 32 inch TV standard, and this has got the satellite system. They'll be in shortly to go through how that all operates. The last part of their handover to be done is that actually. Our symbol, uh, symbol, our, um, well it is kind of like a symbol, but it's actually the rubbish bin. So you can put a plastic bag, put your rubbish in there. It's great when you, you, you know, you're peeling potatoes, whatever you do, just throw it all in there while you're cooking. Close that up when you're ready, tie it up and take it outside. Microwave and the stereo system 
the buttons for their water pumps and the outside speaker switch to turn the outside speakers on and off. So fridge, this is a two way fridge. So it's a 12 volt and 240 volt. The controls in the center there. If you're on power, it automatically goes over to power. That is sure power. If you disconnect the outside power, that will then go on to 12 volt. So it just does it automatically and there's nothing for you to do. I love this mirror. I've had a number of people say to me, oh, we don't like it because of fingerprints. Well, my tip on that is don't put your fingers on it because actually you don't need to. You can open and close this fairly easy. But if you do need to clean it, it takes seconds. But in the meantime, you've got a full length mirror. And um, some of the ladies in particular love the idea of a full length mirror because it's the only way you get a full length mirror into a caravan without losing a whole heap of space. So a nice little feature. Gas detector on the floor, smoke detector on the ceiling. Um, inside here, you've seen all this before. My favorite concertina doors by Lotus I might put out. Now, not all doors are made the same by the way. These, these materials do change. You can get some really nasty cheap plastic ones or you can get something high quality like these Lotus doors. So this is the high quality Lotus door. You've seen the screen door before. I love these screen doors on the shower. Now, some people have been asking me again about these, how easy they are to clean. Look, they're self-cleaning, but if you do want to clean them, just open the door from the inside, you can clean with the plastic fairly easy. It's light, but it's not what you'd call weak. You can't exactly push your finger through that. Um, it does self-clean as you close it, say, and it really, most of the time you leave it open, there's less likelihood of you needing to clean your shower, which is a really nice feature. And of course, in the 20 foot six, you get these little places at the back here to put your shampoos and so forth shower head fully adjustable. You wouldn't do this with your hat on, of course, but you know, well, you might do, I guess. Got the light inside and your powered vent. So look, it's a decent sized shower. You can be quite comfortable in there. So at the risk of repeating myself, beautiful fiberglass top here, which is just fantastic. Um, we've got the big illuminated mirror, washing machine, three drawers in this one, and you've got this little cutaway here for your towels. Electrics are up here on the wall, your mains to inverter control there, your safety trip switches, your isolation switch for your solar panel, the gas heater, where you, gas hot water service where you can adjust the temperature, water tanks, your LBS battery currently 99% and this is to change it from your inverter to charger or 240 volt inverter to 12 volt and it also gives you some other readouts there. Fan over the top of the toilet and of course another window on this side here. If I haven't mentioned it before these toilets are rather tricky too. This is the Dometic toilet with the ceramic bowl. So this is a ceramic basin here. Um, the outside is plastic, they're very light and easy to use. I harp on people using biodegradable chemicals rather than harsh chemicals. Not everyone agrees with me on that, but um, they can't all be right, can they? And plenty of storage in this cupboard here. So heaps of storage in this 20, this 20 foot six Phoenix, beautiful. So look guys, um, they're chumping a bit to come in and, and do the rest of their handover and get on their way. We'll be doing our test drive shortly. Last thing I want to cover on this is the air conditioner. So we've got the fantastic hatch there. Then we've got the air conditioner. This is the Bel Air air conditioner. You heard me mention this one before. I'm starting to absolutely love one major aspect of this air conditioning, which wasn't available in the Ibis, and that is the four-way outlet. I can sit in the lounge and I've got air conditioning running on me, or I can be standing at the kitchen, I've got air conditioning on me. It's actually, it's getting icy cold in here. If I, t if I close the door, it gets really cold really quickly. So I know the air conditioner's working superbly well, and um, the air conditioner's running as we're talking now, so you can hear it's not a noisy air conditioner by any stretch of the imagination. Look, I love this as usual, what can I say? 
It's got all the features that I think you should have in a new caravan. If you're interested or like more information on the caravan, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when the next video goes up. There might be something on the next one that you know grabs your attention, you think, oh, that sounds like a good idea or whatever. So notification button, good idea. Facebook, sunlandcaravans.com.au. 07549992250 or my mobile 0410574127. Look, there's lots of ways of finding out about us. Go and have a look at my YouTube channel. Um, while you're about it, why not even go and listen to the podcast that we've done here from Sunland? There's lots of ways of getting lots of information on us and our caravans, but mostly I'd like to hear from you personally. I hope I talk to you in the future. In the meantime, stay safe. See you for the next one.